Forum in Focus is coming to you from Amsterdam, host city of the Broadband World Forum. Behind me, the Broadband Forum and its members are staging the most advanced demonstration of interoperability the industry has ever seen. The demonstrations are showcasing some of the latest advances in both testing options and new products in the GPON, DDSL2 vectoring and TR69 categories. Companies making real strides in superfast broadband from all over the world are here and we've been talking to some of them. I'm really delighted with the pavilion and delighted with the commitment of our members to bring vectoring alive. Now the pavilion just epitomises the work of the Broadband Forum right from the specification side of things right the way through test and interoperability and the pavilion really brings it alive because we've got multiple DSLAMs from multiple vendors, multiple different CPE vendors contributing and it shows that vectoring interoperability is here for real. Telemed is here at the Broadband World Forum showing uh, vectored VDSL2 testing with real-world noise. What we've done is we've uh, measured the noise in the home, uh, the ambient noise environment, the radio frequency ingress, the RFI noise, and we're playing that back on our setup with vectored VDSL2 Profile 17A, and we're seeing that data rates are influenced by the alien noise environment. And what we're showing then is the new innovative technologies, impulse noise protection with retransmission helps mitigate these noises where we're back up to 98 uh, megabytes per second downstream over a 300 meter loop length. So we have more than uh, sufficient bandwidth even in a noisy environment with impulse noise, AM radio stations and noise from in-home such as washing machines, treadmills or uh, refrigerators running. It's important for the UNHIOL to be here at the Broadband Forum Pavilion in Amsterdam because it shows the power of interoperability. We have six different vendors showing a VDSL2 G dot vector demonstration and it shows the power of interoperability through all six companies and three different chipset makers to actually show that their products all work together in one cohesive demonstration. As Alka listened, it's really important to be here at the Broadband World Forum and to show it at the Broadband Forum Pavilion. We are committed to interoperability to help operators deploy both uh, factoring and uh, cheap on based solutions. So at our stand here, we are showing the results we've obtained in a multi-vendor interop event for factoring, as well as our certified cheap on ONT platform. Being part of this pavilion is extremely important for Actalis because the interoperability between different operators, the ability to work with different DSLAM, different CPE, to work with vectoring, as well as the technology that Actelis is offering, is the key in order to enable a cost-effective deployment and uh, much higher revenues for these operators. We're here showing, um, in alignment with what the Broadband Forum is showing, it, it, all about what interoperability is and why it's important. And we've got a first ever interoperability demo here showing um, three silicon vendors working together um, and talking about why certification is very important um, for vendors to be thinking about um, when they bring their products to market. Dealing is here because we have the capability to really service telcos across a large board. So we've really brought our VDSL solutions, our DOCSIS solutions to really talk to our customers and there's a wide range of products that we have in the leading portfolio. A lot of people aren't aware that we've been very successful in LTE components and in cloud components and the show is very alive with cloud and interest of our own solutions. In terms of the interoperability, we have a great range of products that we always submit into the, uh, the test labs and we have to come and show that to everyone. So it's really trying to make people aware of all the energies we put in and uh, the interrupt that's already capable and already built into our products. Uh, for Atran it's important because our customers have a lot of different CPE vendors and different CPE chipsets. So for us it's important that we can have interoperability with different CPE vendors. Juniper Networks is a long time member of the Broadband Forum. We make very pragmatic solutions that connect subscribers to the network services that they need. Today we're demonstrating uh, an interoperable solution that uh, creates a virtualized network that reduces the cost of ownership and increases performance for these services across the network and allows us to interoperate with all these other vendors. 
uh, under the invitation from the Proben Forums. Uh, actually, we bring our innovation here to Proben World Forums. So here we have two live demo. Uh, one is software defined access networks. The other one is Cloud BNG. Okay, so the, the first one, the software defined access network is focusing on the, uh, how to simplify access node to a programmable and dummy device and how to do the virtualization of access networks that can reduce uh, operators OPEX and CAPEX. And the other one is Cloud BNG. Actually, it's more focusing on uh, how to do the open service programmability on the broadband the network gateway. And so operator can offer fast service deployments and short time to market. We are a CPE manufacturer and we are concentrating on VDSL CPEs. For us it was very important here at the Broadband World Forum at the interoperation, interoperability demonstration um, to show that not just one chipset can do vectoring with this chipset on a CO side, but instead we do have products with a Lantique chipset, products with an Econos chipset. Our Fritzbox models feature all these different versions and it is important for us to see and to show that you can do vectoring with all these chipsets regardless whether it's a Broadcom, whether it's an Econos or a Lanti CO side, you can do vectoring with all these even in the mix. That's the very important key for us. So ZT is very strongly committed in the international standards and associated certification programs and uh, interoperability events. So that's very important to us to help, to help us to make the products compliant to the standards and the interoperability. So, uh, so we believe very strongly in the work of what BBF is doing. So it was therefore very important to us to sh take part and show how ZT delivers strongly in terms of the interoperability. Okay, so we are Technicolor. We uh, do uh, gateways and set-top boxes. And here we are uh, showing uh, VDSL and uh, vectoring features. And um, we are doing interoperability tests and we are verifying that our CPE works fine against several DSLAMs type. So we, we are LAN, one of the approved test lab for the Boban Forum. And today what we are demonstrating is an ability to test ONU Japan, which is 247, I would say, uh, technology, as well as TR255, and that's for interoperability services. And yesterday, a uh, report has been made by Informa based on uh, BBF requirements and showing off that the market needs to have this kind of tools as an enhancer for both operators and vendors to create a better market on Japan globally.